The news is that Eddie's CEO. He's finally running the company. So we wanted to see how is he going to do it. And what we found from talking to you know dozens of former executives is that one, Eddie's always been running the company. You know, they've had a number of CEOs. They had an interim. But CEO he was calling the shots. He was chairman. He wasn't there, but he was calling the shots. Exactly. So you have looked inside his performance and how he actually runs this company, and it's fascinating. It's not your typical retailer. The way he runs it is radically different from really any retailer. It's much more, as we said in the piece, kind of like a hedge fund. Um, instead of an integrated model where you know all the different divisions are supposed to work together and under the same leaders, they're almost like autonomous businesses, each with their own P&L, their own CMOs, their own leaders. Their own board of directors, too. Their own boards that have to meet constantly, yes. And it hasn't been working, so why is he doing it? You know, he, it, we emailed back and forth about the model, and he resolutely defended. He believes it works. Um, you know, he has had so much success in investing, so you can almost see why he thought the same approach would work in this industry. What I found interesting is what you said, that he's always been there, but he's physically never actually at the store. He's running this company from his home office somewhere else. Yes, now Florida. It used to be Greenwich. You know, he recently moved to a $38 million mansion in Florida. Um, and he only goes to Hoffman Estates, which is where Sears is headquartered, a couple times a year. Okay, but there's other companies that run like this. I mean, I don't think that's unusual. Who does he delegate leadership to? Who does he delegate authority to? Well, to dozens of independent businesses. Um, you know, they each have autonomy. They're each accountable for their own results. So there's like appliances. I go to Sears and I buy a washer and a dryer. There's one separate business for that. <laughs> That's its own business, yes. With its own profit and loss statement, its own leader. Well, let me ask the obvious question. Within a typical Sears, how many separate businesses are there? It's varied a little bit, but uh, over 30 is what we found. 30? The knock, on, the knock on Mr. Lampert is that he doesn't have retail experience. Has he hired people with retail experience? Uh, that's a great question. You know, he has attempted to at times, um, but often they've not worked out. And what I found is that Eddie tends to get along better with people from the finance and technology world. Give us an example of how running the different businesses as autonomous businesses screws things up, like changes mm -hmm. things around that other retailers don't have to contend with. Sure. So one of the things we talked about in this story is a, a classic thing for a big box retailer is for some departments, often food, consumables, to create loss leaders, uh, to draw traffic into the stores. You know, mm -hmm. they're sacrificing margin, but it benefits the whole store. Adam Parker with us from Morgan Stanley, their chief equity strategist. You can't talk about individual mm -hmm. securities, but your team always is looking at management. How unusual is the unusual in management? Most companies pretty much run the same, don't they? I think so, but look, sometimes uh, the different is great, you know, and so in, in this case, I think what's hard to tell is, is it just, you know, that, that, that this, it doesn't matter, the, the, the boxes aren't good, people don't want to go there, and it's not the management style, it's something else. I mean, I think it really just depends on the circumstance. Normally, I think what people look at are the numbers, you know, the change in the net operating profit versus the change in the capital employed or yeah. stock performance or things you can evaluate and say, well, this management team's doing a good job. So it probably is just going to take more time to make a judgment call about it. Well, Mina, what is one thing that Eddie Lampert has done well? What is he getting kudos for? Technology. Um, you know, simply put, Sears has actually, I was surprised to learn this, been an early mover on technology, on multi channel integrating their website with their stores. Um, the problem is e commerce is still just a tiny fraction of their overall sales.